What a crazy foggy hazy day as the smoke rolls across our province and I thought why not get a huge monster truck out. Well compared to this I guess there's a 1 24th scale small adventurer body on a 1 10th scale axial XR10. Now this is a, a motor on axle crawler. This is a dedicated rock crawler. Huge IMEX uh, IMEX tires on there, 2.2s you can see, red rocks, I've been using these for a very long time. The motor on axle individually controls each axle, which means I can run different speeds for different crawling advantages. But I figured today on the backyard scale park, why not get outside, stretch my legs a little bit, and uh, see if I can tackle some of these obstacles. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is drop down. Looks like huge tires, like a classic monster truck. Coming down, this is the new approach on the uh, seesaw I have here. Coming up on the angle into the first gate. Now my goal today is not to touch any of these uh, split tennis balls. There we go, let's get a bird's eye view of what's going on there. Getting those wide axles up onto the wood. Those IMEX tires, the red rocks chewing in. Here we go, counterbalance, bringing it down. Got a chain counterweight on the other side. This crawler is fairly light and agile. It reminds me of a, a spider, if you will. Coming up, up around the corner. Very calculated. Oh, now here's going to be uh, the the bonus of being able to lock up my back axle. Watch this. My tires have extreme turn, and then my back axle not turning those tires, acting like an anchor. And I can return to all four, giving me complete control and ability. Yeah, I got a bit of tire rub there. This side is more for the wider axles, like the race and the motor on axle. This is one of my most capable crawlers of all time. Okay, I'm going to lock up that back axle again, kind of giving me a pivot point to drag around. I'm doing that by controlling the ESC with my uh, radio here two ESCs, the rear ESC is what I'm controlling. Very wide pipes, yikes. That's what she said. Bring it in, trying to stay right on line. Rounded rusty pipes, oh, right there, whammy. I think I'm on, not on a timer right now. I can really take my time. Yes. Okay, up and down. The red rocks really giving me lots of uh, traction. Straight up. Now this area is designed to be a challenge. Look at that. I almost need overdrive on my fronts right here. Oh. Same lock up on the back. This is why motor on axle trucks usually aren't allowed uh, in scale competitions. They just have an advantage. Okay, so I'm just gonna start turning into it and adding power both on the front and back axle. I'm trying to get a hop going here. There you go, beautiful. 
Now, every one of these holes, as everybody knows, has been designed to actually get a uh, vehicle stuck up here. Like this is exactly um, the distance of a Traxxas Bronco, the TRX4. But check out these huge, massive tires. Nothing in the way. It can just up clearance and over barely any belly uh, rub at all. I'm gonna hit no matter what. All right, sometimes I accept my fate. Oh, up, can we get up there without falling into the hole? Oh, nope. Nope. Bridge here, under the weight, it's gonna collapse. Depends on how heavy your truck is and how your control is. There you go, right there you need a strong drag brake. Or else you get kicked onto the rope bridge. You're gonna see the benefit of having, having super knobby tires on this bridge. Oh, my back tire's in trouble. Come on, get up there. There we go, recovered. Getting up and over. I'm just gonna trust it. I'm gonna let it roll at moderate throttle. Right down to the suspension bridge. And then I got a quick hop on the other side. Oh, getting too eager. Ah! Repo, back up on the bridge. Here's where it helps to reposition myself. Back axle lock up, up to my favorite part, the tip table. Dropping down, this is an elastic table that has these bamboo shoots that forces a heavy truck up and over, rocking the table into a very narrow branch bridge. Oh, riding the axle, is it gonna work? I don't think so, I'm in trouble. Can I back up? Oh, nice. Okay, so if I can, I almost wanna just run the rear so I can lock up that front. Then I'm gonna bring that front axle back to life. You know what, that was a great recovery. I think I'm in trouble though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to repo. Back onto it. Oh, that's so tippy. That's why it's the tip table. Why would you make a, a bridge so skinny? Because it's challenging. That's why. Into rock the cradle. Down the ramp into the final gate. Coming down, up, down, all the way to the end. Hey, who put those gates so close together? <laughs> All right, there we go. The XR10 MOA with an incredibly small body. There you go, around the backyard scale park. Guys, I hope you are uh, inspired to get outside, try the hobby of radio control, and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures.